Hi everybody, welcome to Cider Experiments, brought, you, uh, brought to you by Fast Home Brew or something like that. Uh, I've done some ciders before, it's basically apple juice. Never really had good results though, so I'm experimenting around. So this here is unfermentable sweetener. I've got some Splendor and some Equal. Oh, and that's some other bits and pieces. Um, cinnamon and vanilla beans. So apple juice and all those things makes cider or something like that. So, first thing I need to figure out is what sort of... Uh, strength am I looking at? So I'm just measuring the gravity of some apple juice and it turns out that it's 1.045 so I'll put that into the thing the online calculator and it comes out six and a half percent so that's a bit stronger than I want so I need to dilute it obviously and I'm working out here that maybe I want about a quarter of it to be water and come out around a nice strength so next thing I'm doing is um, pouring 100 mils into that container and marking it off and then uh, 500 mils into this container and I'll just keep that for later and I'll mark that off as well so what I'm going to do is fill it up from the uh, from that mark up to the other one with water so that it's a little diluted and there's some space in the top so right now I'm making sure they're all nice and even so they're all about the same amount of starting apple juice which is looking pretty good if I eventually get it right yep they're all about even now I'll put some water in uh, that one, yes, that's my one with the marks on it. So I fill them up to the mark, and I'll end up with a... I can't remember exactly what starting gravity, but it's basically 1.4 litres apple juice and 500 mils of water in a 2 litre container. So there they all are, and they're all looking nice and um, regimented. Yes, and I'll just write the words on them. Uh, that one says plain. This one's with Splendor, one of the sweeteners. This one's equal, one of the other sweeteners. Uh, Splendor Plus, I'm going to put more Splendor in that one. And this one's Vanillamon, which is a word I made up that means vanilla and cinnamon. So, where's my Splendor? Let's get started with this. Well, I'm going to put 15 grams of Splendor into the first one there, and in it goes. Turns out that stuff's a pain to get through the old what's it there, but that's all good. Um, that works out to about 8 grams a litre, which I'm told is a good amount. So, I'll, I'll start with that. So, the second one though. The idea of this one is to make it way too sweet. So I think um, the scale was turned off when I was halfway through pouring it. That one's got about 20 grams in it, which is a, a, a fair bit more. So um, that one should be too sweet by our reckoning. Okay, here's the equal. One at a time. One gram, two gram, three grams. Maybe I'll try two at a time. That's five grams. And stealing these little packets from restaurants for some time now in order to make this. So there it goes. 15 grams of equal in total. Turns out you can rip them about four at a time. And what's this? More Splendor? And, oh, more Equal. Yeah, the, the Vanillamon one is getting half and half Splendor and Equal um, because I'm not racist or anything like that. So give that a bit of a shake. The other's got a shake too, just to make sure it's all nice and mixed evenly. Now I'm putting exactly that much cinnamon in and one half of a Vanilla Bean. Yep, there we go. So we'll see how that one turns out. Bit more of a shake. Okay, cool. What's now? Ah, yes, the yeast. This is, I think it's champagne yeast. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly. Maybe you should look it up. I can't read what it says on the packet, but I'm sure if you freeze frame through, it says somewhere there what it is. But no, I'm pretty sure it's champagne yeast. It's whatever they gave me. And oh, look at that. It's pretty. It's all going in there. And the last thing is we need some airlocks. So what I've got here's some balloons. It's a very rudimentary airlock. You just poke a hole on the balloon there, and um, on she goes. And, yeah, it fills up with gas. It's, it's Right now, with there's no gas, it's tight, so it won't let any air in. But as the gas expands, the little hole opens and, and the carbon dioxide can get out. So it um, actually works kind of well as a, as, a, as a rudimentary airlock. Anyway, that's all five of them. All done. Yep. Cool. We're good. All right. So, cider experiments. I've done some ciders before. I've never been really happy, so I'm just uh, trying some different stuff to see where the... Truth lies. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, that's some cider or something. I'll see how it goes. Cool. Oh, hang on a second. Look at that. It's a few hours later, and already these things are starting to fill up with gas. So, yeah, look at that. Fast Home Balloon Airlock. Welcome to Fast Home Balloon Airlock, everybody. Let's have a good time, man.